Hello, my beautiful angels. How are you today? My name is Mike, and I am playing Left 4 Dead 2. Playing some realism versus realism versus sorry on the parish. And right now, I am a smoker, and I had a really good game this game. And uh, the other team right now, they had one AFK, and they decided to start. Well, the guy said be right back right as they started, so that's kind of they're bad. And we're not gonna wait because once they start, we have all the fucking right to do whatever we want. So uh, yeah, Boomer got them pretty good, and they didn't notice I was smoking, uh, I believe, Rochelle, and then Jockey gets Nick, or someone, just perfectly, everything's perfectly timed here, and Coach is just done, and then, yeah, so it, this was pretty, a pretty easy win on the first level of the Parish, um, as I'm waiting for my smoker to rekindle and stuff, and by the way, the Jockey took Nick way too far, um, if you don't know, if you're a Jockey, you can, um, when you, when you drag people, if you drag, if you drag them where they're supposed to go, that still gives them points. So, the jockey here, you just got dragging them and dragging them, whereas I would have just stopped, like, uh, I would have went around this house that the smoker's at, and I kind of would have went there, so they would have got less points, but they didn't get that many points anyway, but, uh, just in case, um, if you're really close on points between the two teams, uh, I highly recommend not jockeying them to the end of the world. And then, as you see, the, the Ellis is AFK here, so the charger, and I went to beat him up a little bit, and, uh, he was dead, so that was that was chapter one. I, I don't really have much to talk about in this video except for strategy, really. So I'm gonna try to keep it strategy talk. Um, so as a spitter, I usually never know what to do. I think I mentioned this once. I, I one of my least favorite classes is or infected is spitter. I don't like unless someone is hunter, charger, smoker. I don't know what to do. So jockey gets one of them uh, separated, and uh, hunter he's he tries to get I believe one of them right there. Uh, he does, and that creates more separation, and as you see, the jockey has now killed them. So I spit there a little bit, or I had to wait for my spit to recharge, so that's why it was a little bit late. And Ellis knows I'm up here, so I'm like, okay, he he's coming for me right now. I'm like, okay, so I'm going to crouch, charger charger tracks him, cool, then Ellis is like, he comes back for me. He, he knows that I'm up here, and he's going to get me. I'm like, ah, oh, crap, he sees me. I'm dead. And... dead. So, I didn't really mind, because, once again, spitter sucks, in my opinion, um, when you don't have anyone... Uh, crowd controlled. So at this point, they have one dead, um, or one down, and I see coach is, coach is orange, and this team was, this team wasn't that great. Uh, I, th I think, again, they might have been griefing, but I think they were actually trying this time. So that, but this point, they have one dead, and as a boomer, I'm like, oh, okay, this is a really good, being a boomer, uh, sometimes isn't awesome, but, uh, right, like, sometimes, like, here, where you know there's a lot of infected that come, it's awesome. Um, and I waited, I, ca I, I like wait, when I'm a boomer, or when I'm any class really is infected, one thing I like to do is I like to wait to spawn um, until the very, like, what, until I think they're about to come around the corner, because um, if they have their auto, and by the way, uh, as you see, one guy's hunter, one guy's charger, um, I like to wait because they can hear, if, if you spawn, they'll hear you, and they're like, oh, okay, there's a boomer there, and they'll be like, okay, it's probably around this corner, and, and, and if they have, the less time they have to react to the sound, the better. And Smoker gets that guy, and I quickly spawn as a jockey and down her. And and I and I didn't know how uh, close Ellis or whoever was to dying, so I didn't want Rochelle to s to shoot that Smoker down. So I went in front of Rochelle, so she'd have to shoot through me first before she killed the Smoker. And that's more strategy there. That's always getting the line of fire uh, if if you're about to win, always. So it's it's simple stuff like that that helps you that helps you win a game so here's a jockey um i was gonna get this guy separated here but uh, i couldn't go jump down there so i'm like okay i'm thinking what's gonna happen and at this point someone's in the safe room. i'm like oh okay yeah yeah good good and spitter uh delays them even longer and i get in there and i uh jockey here and i'm thinking they're probably gonna come back for her right no they don't so they don't come back for her and uh she ends up just not getting them any points because i don't even think she made it out of the safe rooms to get them points and by the way, I was not, uh, I noticed when I was filming this, I was not looking at Rochelle's ass here. I was looking at what the uh, survivors were doing. Uh, you can believe me if you want to, uh, but that's, or if you, you can not believe me if you don't want to, but uh, that's that's a, that's what was happening, so relax on the pervy comments. Um, and Smoker got, Smoker got one, and then Charger got one, and as you see, the one guy's just rushing ahead, so I think that guy was, wasn't too big of a team player, and, um, so I, and I couldn't get him right away because my jockey is on charge. Um, and one thing I see all the time is uh, jockeys, chargers, smokers, uh, hun not hunters, uh, but those three classes, like, their, their charge isn't up yet, and, like, it's halfway done, and they'll just run towards the guy and start right-clicking them to hit them, and I'm like, what? And by the way, this is a total fail. I was going to post this as a fail of the day. I absolutely sucked dick trying to uh, jockey Nick here. Um, 
but they'll like run up to them and start right like right right clicking them and hitting like smacking them like it's gonna do a lot of damage like no like wait it, it, they sure they'll get more points if you if you uh, if you if maybe you don't distract them I guess but um wait for it wait for your and then tank and wait for the wait for your uh, thing to recharge so you can actually grab them and you can actually try to grab them and win the game instead of just right clicking them it's it's very it doesn't do much for you unless they're very low on health. Um, but here was here's another good example of just teamwork. Uh, what happens here is first of all I missed my charge, but luckily the boomer got him. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna I was gonna hide in this corner. I'm like okay, and then no, I'm like no, he's gonna kill me before then. So I run out and I get cover. Thankfully this that thing was in my way, and I'm very low on health here. And I see the jockey now has uh, uh, Nick, and I was I'm and I'm running in to try to save him. So because as you see Ellis comes in here to save him, and I charge Ellis. Luckily I get in, jockey gets out of my way, and I I save him. That gives the jockey no time to down Ellis, even if I didn't do that much damage, or down Nick, sorry, even though that didn't give me enough time to do much damage to Ellis, it still got Nick down, and now they're, they might be down a health pack, uh, it delayed them a long time, and uh, as you see, their Nick is now healing, so they're down a health pack, and in realism versus you only get one set of health packs per, per round, I believe. So... Yes, and now Smoker, I was like, okay, this this could be good. I could I could get a lot of the, I could get one of them separated depending on uh, how the how good their communication is. And after having some tr troubles getting up here, uh, I'm like, okay, so I'm looking I'm looking for the last one, and I th and uh, I thought that was him, but nope, it wasn't. And so I get this guy that's boomered, and uh, unfortunately Rochelle comes and saves him. So I couldn't do much there. But um, I'm now, as I'm waiting for my smoker to recharge, I'm waiting for them to get inside the house as well. Sorry, my nose is a little bit stuffed. And um, once they're inside the house, I know it's safe for me to like walk out here. So I didn't, I didn't really know uh, where this led. I might, thought it might lead to like the other side where I could smoke them from the rooftop. And I was gonna try to jump to the roof, and then I was like, nah, there's, I'm not even bother trying to get up there. So I jump over here, jump over the fence, and I start going under here because last time we were survivors, they smokered us from here as well, and they didn't do that well. But I thought maybe if I get like one of them, I'll do, be good. And so, I just see here, Alice is kind of separated from the group, so I smokered him for a, a little while, actually. Uh, did some decent damage, and then Rochelle kills me before I could run away, unfortunately. And then, um, yeah, I think we're all dead at this point. And um, one thing one thing this, this group did really well, uh, my infected group, was that we kind of choreographed choreographed, uh, I guess so. I guess we grouped, or yeah, choreographed our, our hits kind of well. Uh, that, in that we uh, waited for each other, kind of. We didn't really communicate that much, but we waited for each other. And uh, so Nick, for some reason, goes into this closet. I'm thinking, uh, okay. And so I'm, I'm looking back and forth because I don't want them to come get me. So Nick is still in here, and so I grab him. And because he's separated, he's not, I'm also going to grab him. And and they all jump down at this point, and they can't save him, I don't think. And well, Rochelle maybe could, but uh, now she jumps down, right? And then I just, what I do is I drag. My goal is always to drag as a jockey. If I can, if there's no one behind them, I drag them as far back to the safe room as I can. Even if I'm like at the new safe room when you win the game, I want to drag them back to the start of the game as as far as possible. Because that means if they go to save them, they have to go all that way back, and then uh, yeah, and then I and then if I know they're about to die, I try to put them in some sort of like room or something where they won't be found, and that's kind of like they have to describe it if they're talking. So what happens here is I think the smoker gets one of them, but then, yeah, he dies. Like, he gets Rochelle, I believe, and then Alice, I want to say, uh, tries to save him, and then the charger spawns. He misses, but that that distraction gives me enough time to get Ellis, who's going for the smoker. And uh, Boomer gets Rochelle, and I just take uh, Ellis to to wherever I could, really, to so Rochelle might have some might have to go as far back as possible and might have some problems finding him so I get him down and then I believe now the smoker has or yeah there we go the smoker gets Rochelle and uh, there you go that's that's teamwork that distraction from the charger ended up winning us the game um, so you don't always have to hit so here is a charger uh, this last level and uh, I skipped ahead to where they're just starting to run and as a charger here my, my thought process was okay I'm not gonna hit him anytime soon I'm gonna charge him off this bridge and this is where um, I almost jizzed my pants. I had the ultimate jizz my pants opportunity, and I missed it. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So um, I'm just waiting. They're, you know, my team's hitting them, doing whatever they can, and I'm just waiting because I'm going to charge them off of the bridge, and that's uh, that's automatic kill. And um, you can do this in uh, No Mercy as well. Um, what other ones can you do this on? I, you might. No, you can't do that. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't remember what other. I know, you, I don't remember what other campaigns you can do this on, but I know you can do it on 
here and no mercy. So, still waiting. I'm just taking my time. And at this point, Coach is running ahead. And I'm like, okay, cool. And I think it's 2 on 3 at this point. That's why he's kind of running ahead. Um, so I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna, so that's why I spawn. I'm like, oh, he didn't, he didn't come. Cool, whatever. I'll just wait. He can hear me, but whatever. So he's taking his time. You know, Spitter gets in the way, Jockey gets him, and I believe, yeah, he, he gets him off, and then he just kind of, uh, automatically gets up, so I don't know what was going on there. And so I charge, I miss, but luckily, I get out of the way. This is kind of a win. I get out of the way, I don't have that much health, and I somehow dodge all their bullets from, from here on out. And this is it. Ready? My charge is reset, no health, go to charge, three people I could have gotten off, and I died. Oh my god. God, are you shitting me? I was so mad. As you see, the, as you see the chat, I was so mad, so sad. I just, oh, I, and for the next like two infected, I, I wasn't even focused. I was just thinking about how I could have gotten three people off the bridge. What a win of the day that would have been. What a great game that would have been. Oh, what a just great thing that would have been. So again, spitter. I'm thinking I don't even know what to do with the spitter. I'm, I'm not, and I wasn't thinking anyway. Uh, from now until I get like the hunter, I believe. Um, and so I'm, just, I just spat thinking they were going to walk into it. I think I got one of them a little bit. And I didn't know that, uh, and they go into that crack where, uh, that crack right there where that Greek guy is, and they can see me. I didn't know they could see me. And bam. They shoot me down. I'm like, wow, whatever. I don't care. Spitter sucks anyway. So, at this point, still recuperating from my ultimate, ultimate demise there. That was, uh, depressing. Good grief. Even just watching that now, it just hurts. Uh, and as a boomer again, this is, I was pretty fail as a boomer too. I, I don't know what I was doing. Uh, nothing good. So as I see coaches here, I'm thinking, oh, he's walking back. He's going to get these zombies and walk forward again. So I spawn, and then he just runs back to save. <coughs> Excuse me. He runs back to save his team. I'm like, god damn it. So I'm thinking I'm going to jump between this boss, bus and this uh, truck here, but there was no spot there, and I ended up dying, doing absolutely shit all. And as a boomer also, a good thing uh, is if you... If you don't know, if you explode really close to a boomer, it knocks them back. So that's what I was going to try to do is try to knock Coach back and then off the ledge so he'd be hanging off the ledge. So that's another thing you can really do as a boomer here. And so I get Hunter, and I'm like, okay, now, okay, I love Hunter. It's one of my favorite classes to play, so now, now I'm in business. So what happens here is I uh, pounce Coach for a really nice pounce there, I think. I didn't think I was going to hit him, but I did. And uh, they're shooting at me, and then luckily... Uh, at this point, Coach is down, and they 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 hit me off, and they don't kill me, so I have time to jump away, do whatever. And I'm thinking, cool, one's down, they got three up. I'm gonna jump on this truck, and then I'm gonna get one of them. So I jump, and I miss Nick, but I end up killing Coach in like two hits. So that was nice. So now that at this point they have one dead, and uh, three up, and then a whole bunch of stuff goes right. I ended up missing someone as I pounce, but I ended up working out perfectly as I uh, rape the other guy. So. Well, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I love your face. Uh, so, Left 4 Dead 2, Realism vs. Unparish. Um, I will see you all in the next video. Have a good day, and goodbye.